one word. So that's one singer. So towards the end of the chorus, where we had those ascending guitar lines to build it more, I wanted to do something with the background vocals. So here's what we did. So let's hear the whole chorus with the lead effects and backgrounds. And here's the second half to the end of the chorus in context with the band. Feels like a million degrees. The walls are coming down. Things are rising round. At the speed of sound, the world is burning down. down. So the last vocal part that we have, we have these grunts and chants. And the idea with these was to make them speak inside of that industrial machinery type of sounds. So they're kind of funny alone, but in with the, in with the machines, they sound good. So for the processing on all the background vocals, so the processing on those kind of patty background vocals was soothed, set similarly to the lead vocal, 1176, and a vitalizer to spread it a little bit around the lead vocal. Then I have a second background vocal effects channel fed from the same bus that's snuck in there. And what I used this for was more distortion. So you saw a couple of these Saturn plugins and certain bands of distortion for certain parts of the vocals. This was pretty much across the board, giving like a saturation, a limiter to sort of push it up, and then the dimension D to make it have a little left and right movement. And I didn't want to use the same thing uh, that I used on the other one, so it gave it a little bit difference. And on the grunts and groans, we had more distortion pretty much across the top, and the limiter, and they didn't really have much effects. They had a uh, the tape, and they had a little bit of the richer chorus and they were dry. So there's all our vocals. So that was The World is on Fire by Moguls of Mayhem, Anatomy of a Mix, number one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so we can let you know when we have more. Hope you stay healthy and well. Keep making music. Thanks.